On this week's trip of American Heroes Outdoors, we're in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. We return to Woodland Resort, which is kind of a home away from home for us. Uh, we come up to Woodland quite a bit. The staff here is amazing. Uh, the owners, Kyle and Karn, are, are phenomenal. They always welcome us with open arms. Devil's Lake is one of those unique fisheries that you can fish all year round. It's a huge expanse of lake and the walleyes are phenomenal. Uh, actually, we have two adventures planned in one weekend. We kind of did them back to back. We have a father son coming up uh, from Fargo, North Dakota, and they're gonna be fishing up here with us uh, for a day or two, and we're gonna be pre-fishing for the AIM Walleye Classic. And then Eric Tilton of Mitchell's Guide Service is coming out and we're gonna fish the AIM together. He's also a veteran that retired from the Air Force. So it's kind of special to be able to have two separate groups up here and get to know them. I've met all the people and they're great people. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Throughout history, Brave men and women have answered their nation's call to serve. Heroes who have put their life on the line for each other and for our freedom. These are their stories. American Heroes Outdoors is brought to you by Gate City Bank, Warrior Boats, Woodland Resort, SNS Promotional Group, Concordia College Moorhead, Lake of the Woods Tourism, Commemorative Firearms, and VACMaster. Just got out onto the water and uh, the winds picked up a little bit. Uh, we're out here on Devil's Lake fishing with uh, a couple of friends, James from Devil's Lake area and then Chris and Ryan from uh, Fargo, West Fargo. Today we're running Lindy rigs and uh, slow deaths off of a two ounce bottom bouncer. And we're running it from 14 to 20 feet. We're using a variety of baits, just trying a little bit of everything and there, there really is uh, no particular bait right now. but. We'll keep switching it up until something starts working. I was in the military, did four years in the United States Navy uh, from 1970 to 74 after graduating from high school. My lottery number at the time was 336, but I wanted to serve my country, so I joined the service. Went to San Diego for boot camp. I left San Diego and, and flew to the Philippines where I was to jump on a ship called the USS Hancock. It was the oldest aircraft carrier in the fleet. It was a World War II carrier. Matter of fact, it was the first carrier that had steam catapults. Well, it's the right flavor anyway, but it's too small. My primary job was to, when they did flight operations, was to make sure that the ship had enough steam going through the engines to keep enough knots going across the, across the flight deck so they could launch the jets. As soon as the launch would happen, you'd have to back off on the throttle so, so the, the tanks would fill back up with steam. And so you would spin those wheels either open or shut, depending on what they needed. It wasn't an easy job. We worked basically four in the morning till eight at night. And I thought, well, this ain't too bad, this is young, I can do that. But since we were on the line that launched um, airplanes, we had to take on food for 3,000 people and ammunition for the planes. So we would probably work till two in the morning loading 500 pound bombs. 
Stay tuned for more from American Heroes Outdoors. Around here, there's more than one way to live. And at Gate City Bank, there's more than one way to bank. We create banking to fit you. So whatever your way of life, we make it better. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. The Warrior Story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. Ensuring your safety no matter the weather. With a lifetime hull warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. To find a dealer near you, go to warriorboatsinc.com. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Woodland Resort is located on the north shore of the famous Devil's Lake in North Dakota. Whether you're hunting, fishing, or just here to relax, Woodland Resort has the amenities to keep you comfortable. Woodland Resort is the only full-service lakeside resort on Devil's Lake. With six types of lodging options, including the new legendary suites, a convenient bait and tackle shop, indoor air-conditioned fish cleaning station, and much more. To learn more about a getaway for all seasons, log on to woodlandresort.com. My mission was to fly jets over North Vietnam and bomb. So that's all we did, bomb, bomb, bomb. I shouldn't say that's all we did. We supported the mining of Hanoi Harbor. We also supported taking the mines out when they decided that putting the mines in Hanoi Harbor was causing people to die from starvation So in North Vietnam. So the government said, we'll go in and take those bombs out. So we supported that mission. Oh, yeah, nice one. They're here. Nice one. You're just a, what they call a late bloomer. Yeah. Well, well, you guys catch a few first. <laughs> Good work. Before I went and actually joined the service, I wanted to be a policeman. So I went down to the sheriff's office and I asked the sheriff if he'd give me a job. And he said, you're a young man, there's a draft going on. You come see me when you're done with the service. Of course, I was a new sheriff when I come back. And they didn't want anything to do with a Vietnam veteran. Yeah, the idea was you got to prove yourself that you're not a drunk, that you're not high on dope, and you prove yourself, and then we might give you a job. That went for the post office. That went for a lot of different places. Didn't want to hire vets because they were afraid of what they were going to get. The sheriff at Cass County, Don Rudnick, decided to have a reserve program. I so said, I can get a reserve. So I joined his first reserve class that he had. We worked for free. They kept on telling us all along, you people in the reserve will never get hired full time. Never. It's just the way it is. Don't count on this as being the, a step in the door. Well, first one guy got hired, so the door was open. And then I got hired. Can you swing it? Yep. Yep. Off first. There goes, my, there goes my worm. And I've basically been there ever since, except for I left for two years to, to join the, uh, the United Nations. The difference between the United States and other countries in the United Nations is that the other countries, their, mil their uh, police are all part of their military. So their military just says, you 300 policemen, you're going here. United States, they can't do that because we're not part of the government. <laughs> Come off, I got Perfect. <laughs> that don't happen every day. No, it doesn't. Nice fish, though. So we've moved to about four spots. The wind really hasn't let down. If anything, it's picked up. We're probably in two or three foot rollers out here. And uh, the last spot, Chris had an idea to try this, uh, this long point that comes out underwater. So we're, we're trying this and we picked up a few more fish, nothing worth any size, but a few northerns and some small walleye. We'll uh, keep fishing and see if we can pull out a couple big ones. We're still pre-fishing for the AIM tournament tomorrow, so. 
We'll see how we do. Gotta know how to fish. Now that I said that, I won't get another one. There's something in me that, even after Vietnam, I wouldn't deserve my country. Well, I thought I might be too old, but they took me. And on my second year there, I turned 50. I was a station commander in a Serbian town in Kosovo. And you know how much the Serbs loved us after we bombed them for 90 days. But it was more of a hearts and mind mission. And our, our biggest objective that I could see, besides policing, was policing fair. They didn't know about honest policemen. So that was part of our mission, was to show them what police could be and to train their new police to be more like us. And then I came back, and I've been back 13, 14 years, something like that. I'm getting towards the end. Absolutely is my hero every day. Uh, held family together, worked hard, military veteran. I looked up to all that. What made me join law enforcement was, was my dad. We served for the Cass County Sheriff's Department for many years, and when growing up, got to see him do the job, and it, I thought it was something I'd be interested in. How do you get him to do that? Yeah, you just gotta have a magic touch, I guess. <laughs> They're fun to catch. I started out of the Cass County Sheriff's Department in 2004 to 2007, working beside my dad. I mean, it was a great opportunity to get to share those memories with him, uh, work with him pretty much every day. I learned a lot from him over the years, not just law enforcement, but life also. Even a blind squirrel gets a nut every now and then. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I think we're catching the same fish over and over. They're not getting any bigger, but we'll keep trying. I appreciate everything that you guys have done for us and all the vets. I know we talked the other night about different people you've taken out and how many trips that you've, you've done. And uh, it just brings tears to my eyes because this is all sort of coming late. About 40 years late. I'm no hero. I still got my arms, still got my legs, still got a beautiful family. I got a son who's a policeman. Just like me. I got a daughter that's a wonderful person. Got a wife that's a great, wonderful wife. So I'm very fortunate I didn't lose any of that. Chris Dennis recently retired from law enforcement on April 25th, 2017 with over 39 years of service. Since 1970, Chris has been serving his country and community selflessly with many awards and recognitions. The foundation of our great nation has been built on the service of those like Chris and many others. From all of us here at American Heroes Outdoors, thank you. Fish the famous waters on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world. Choose from over 50 full service resorts with options for charter fishing, guide service, and full meal plans, or plan a trip and relax in the vast wilderness scenery. From the Northwest Angle to the South Shore, Rainy River and Baudette, the Midwest's number one fishing destination. Walleye, sauger, northern pike, and more. Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, best fishing anywhere. Call 1-800-382-FISH or log on to lakeofthewoodsmn.com. There are different goals in hunting, but the reason we all hunt is for what we put in the freezer. And our VacMaster Chamber Sealer keeps that reason fresh five times longer than traditional storage methods. VacMaster, as fresh as the day you brought it home. Don't miss this year's Fargo Defender Dash. This annual event is held every October and registration is limited. Come out and honor those that served while inspiring a healthy lifestyle. Go to FargoDefenderDash.com for more details. Well, this is the start here. Uh, we launched out of Woodland Resort today. It's American Heroes Outdoors. 
inaugural fishing tournament. So we don't know what to expect yet, but we thought we'd give her a try. We're participating in the North Dakota AIM Classic. That's uh, a four tournament series in North Dakota. And there's also a tournament series for AIM in Wisconsin and Minnesota, and it's a catch, record, release tournament. We're gonna try our luck. Uh, the weather's beautiful. Yesterday we had a lot of wind. We were doing some pre-fishing, and the wind, uh, the wind isn't here yet. So it looks like it's supposed to be a decent day. We got out to the spot we wanted to. There's a fish. He's not digging. All right, Keller. The way AIM started was a bunch of touring pros, both current and retired, got together and said, yeah, there's better ways to do professional walleye fishing. And the key the ingredient that we wanted to focus on was minimal impact of the fishery that we come to. When the anglers go out, they catch a fish. They put it on their ruler that we give them. They take a picture with an, they have a digital camera with an SD card in it. And at the end of the day, we can take all of their pictures of fish and we can focus in on them and verify how big that fish is. And then we have a conversion chart that takes it over to pounds. My name is Eric Tilton, a retired uh, Air Force, 21 years flying crew chief for the first 15 and ended up in manpower and consulting my last five, six years in the Air Force. My sister was in the Air Force. She stayed about six years. My father was in the Navy and I think he stayed about four years. It's provided a good lifestyle for us. Uh, not all of it was green, not all of it was rosy, um, but you just kind of, you take the, take the blows, it's your job. Um, there's a lot of good that comes. You meet a lot of great people and uh, unfortunately you end up in a lot of not so great places. So you just gotta kind of balance it all out. Towards the end of my career, I decided, uh, you know, with having a career in the military, it's, it's afforded me the opportunity to do something that I want to do after I got out. Uh, I had a few job offers to actually turn around and go right back into my same job in the military as a civilian and kind of set it all aside and took a chance and said, I'm gonna go fishing. That's what everybody wants to do with their retirement. Ended up becoming a guide out here in Devil's Lake and, and uh, working with, with Jason Mitchell and company. We've got a great staff of guides that work there out of Woodland. I'm probably in the top three for netters in Devil's Lake. Outstanding. I've done a lot of netting here. As you have, I would imagine. Yes, a little bit. A little bit. Mm, I don't think he's that big. best part of my job now as a guide is when I get veterans out here on the boat to get them to open up, um, get them to talk. I love listening to their stories. Vietnam vets, I got a lot of those. Uh, still some old World War vets uh, make a showing out here. And you can just see their faces light up when, when you want to know their story, when you want to talk to them. And, and some of these stories that I've heard probably haven't been spoken for 20 years plus. And it, and it's good. I call it boat therapy. I'm not a therapist, but it's boat therapy for these guys. The first boat minnow fish. It is. That just proves anyone can do it. <laughs> this is an old road bed that just came above the water here this last year. Uh, weeds like to grow up into it. We got weeds coming out to about four feet of water, four to five feet of water. And it's a nice tapered drop off uh, that goes into the ditch and around 10 feet of water. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to run that ditch line into that 10 foot of water. Uh, on both sides of the grass line. Seems to have been holding some uh, some pretty good fish here lately. So uh, if all goes well, they'll cooperate and we'll have some good pictures. Might be a little better. There it is. There we go. It's getting better. I told you to be patient. Good work. Another good one. 
I do believe. Oh, coming to the surface. I'm that leader. Ready? Yep. <laughs> nice. It's the same one. Just a little bit bigger. Nice Devil's Lake walleye. More Devil's Lake walleyes falling prey to the Berkeley Gulp. A couple nice 19 inch fish, 19, 19 and a half, give or take. And uh, if all goes well, they'll keep getting a little bit bigger. The wind popped up and the sun came out and we've, we've picked up our five fish and now we're just upgrading. Uh, our biggest fish right now is just over 18? 19 and three quarter. Okay, oh, just under 20 then. So we got two of them at that size and then a few 16s and um, a lot of work to do to upgrade the card, but at least we got a full card. Commemorative Firearms, a division of SNS Promotional Group. A great way to mark a significant time, place, or event and raise dollars for your organization. We have provided limited edition, exquisitely enhanced commemorative firearms for many special celebrations, like NDSU Bison Championships, PBR, NFR, and NASCAR events, quality firearms, and true craftsmanship of unparalleled engraving technology. Preserve the special events in your life. Learn more at commemorativefirearms.net. Here's what people are saying about SNS Promotional Group. My name is Staff Sergeant David Morse, and I am the Vice President of Wounded Warriors Guide Service. Wounded Warriors Guide Service and SNS Promotional Group have been partners for almost six years. Once we found SNS Promotional Group, it all came together. Working with SNS has been a breeze. We tell them what we want, they bring their cards to the table, and then we deliver our product. If your company or organization is looking for a solution to a problem or a way to reach out to your clients, reach out to SNS Promotional Group. You'll be glad you did. Warrior Boats, National Fleet Graphics, and AIM Weekend Walleye Series brings you the 2017 American Heroes Outdoors Boat Raffle. Don't miss your chance to win this amazing package. A Warrior 208 dual console with a 300 Evinrude G2 fully rigged and water ready. Tickets are just $20 a piece and are limited, so don't delay. Go to AmericanHeroesOutdoors.com for more details. Fish. Nice one. Nice one. Got him right out of that culvert. As long as this thing's a walleye, we're in business. Let's go, Wally. And up. There it is. Yeah. There it is, baby. <laughs> nice. That's the one we we're looking for. exactly what we were looking for right there. Should be a nice 2021-21. Devil's Lake is basically a giant prairie pothole and it, uh, you know, after the dirty 30s and the drought of that era, it just about dry, wiped out Devil's Lake. You know, it was just basically a slew. Devil's Lake, since we started, has grown 30 feet vertically. Over those years, we had a lot of flooding issues. But that high water gave us a couple of special things, too. It gave us a, a world-class walleye fishery and one of the best waterfall hunting areas on the planet. So there's some bad side of the story, but there's an awful lot of good side of the story as well. Same size. Oh, no, he's not. There we go. It's an upgrade, brother. 16, 17. 17 and a half, 18. Nice job. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Just have a lettuce. That's an upgrade fish. Catch, record, release. We, uh, just hit another upgrade fish, just over 17, 17 and a half, I think. And uh, we're adding to our list. The format for the AIM tournament is catch, record, and release. So on average, the fish is out of the water for about a minute, if, if you're doing everything right. It's, it's kind of cool to be able to fish a, an awesome body of water like this and have a good spot where we're pulling a lot of fish out 
and not have to put them near live well and bring them all in. It, it definitely uh, helps out the environment. You know, North Dakota was one of the spots where it was like, okay, yeah, this is kind of a no-brainer. We've got some great fisheries up here. We've got a lot of great fishermen up here. And uh, it, it was just a natural flow to progress into North Dakota. And then you come to Woodlands, it's basically the, yeah, you've got the best fishery here in the region and you've got the best resort at that fishery. So it's a natural fit. Walleye, coming right up at the back, barely hooked. Ready? Yep. To wrap up a great weekend, in our first AIM tournament, we finished just out of the money. Look for American Heroes Outdoors to participate in more AIM walleye tournaments in 2017. And we'll see you some other day. American Heroes Outdoors is brought to you by Gate City Bank, Warrior Boats, Woodland Resort, SNS Promotional Group, Concordia College Moorhead, Lake of the Woods Tourism, Commemorative Firearms, and Vacmaster.